so you, you bring your tractor up to, to almost engaged and then you put your hoses back on you can't get it the wrong way around there's a non-return valve if you ever did try and get it the wrong way around there's a non-return valve on one side of the back though so you can't accidentally hose it up the wrong way around so plug these back together Here. and then just try and sort of stow those out the way of the fittings until you get it back actually together. Well, that all looks like it's lining up. So we now need to reverse the tractor. nearly over the hook and then it's again a combination of the legs and the arm to get the hooks to, to hook into the position that they should be. So it's just a case of altering altering the position of those that sort of tripod and moving the tractor back a bit until you get those hooks in. Then you can put your pin on one side. And then just alter your leg a bit on this side. Might need to alter the back hoe. Just wiggle it around a bit and you can see it just goes loose the pin. And then the last thing to do then is just to find a sensible routing for your, for your um, hoses so that they're sort of clear of the uh, clear of the, the slew ram underneath and clear of everything under there. And then it's back on. Feet up in the air. Move in the air. At this stage, if you want to, there's also a lock, a lock to the back of it if you're going to transport it somewhere. And there is a slew lock here that you put your pin in. That stops it going left and right during uh, during sort of transportation. Uh, and also there's a, a boom lock as well. The pin is stored in this in this little hole here. And you can put this pin in, that stores that there, and also there's some little spring loaded clips to hold you, stop your feet from falling to the ground as well, so they're normally stored there, you can put that clip on that side, that clip on that side, and then that's ready for transporting on a trailer or driving distances where you don't want the boom to, to fall over. So at this stage, we're ready to go. Okay, I'm just going to set the tractor up for digging now, so um, I have to talk you through how you would set the backhoe up to dig a hole. So the first thing to do, it's really important that your loader is on the floor. You need to put the loader down onto the ground and just put a, just a little bit of pressure on it. You don't want the front wheels coming off the ground, you just want a little bit of pressure and that enables the backhoe to have something to lever against. Uh, and then whilst you're on the tractor, pull the seat that you're sitting on all the way forwards. Of course you, you can do that afterwards if you like, you know, pull it all the way forwards as much as you can. Put your handbrake on. Uh, now you can fold the seat at the back here down. And this seat has adjustment forwards and backwards so you can set the position that you, you want to be at. And also depending on your height You've got an adjustment up and down here as well, so if you're a bit taller, you can set it a little bit taller. Get onto the machine, got a nice handrail here. First thing you do, make sure you've unlocked everything. Uh, there's locks for the feet and for the arm. Make sure everything's unlocked. And then put your feet down so they're nice and stable. Again, don't lift your rear wheels off the floor, a lot of people do that. Uh, you just want a little bit of weight on the actual 
on the tractor but still have the wheels there as stability. And then you've got to set your engine speed, yeah? And it depends how fast you want to dig, really. Uh, the slower the engine speed, the more control you're going to get over your bucket movements. Uh, but and, and, and when you're first starting out, that's probably the best way of doing it. Uh, but we'll see the difference if we dig a hole here. see that the machine stays nice and nice and stable. You're not going to be, you shouldn't be rocking around everywhere with your feet down. Now this is an example of where you might want a bit more engine revs occasionally. chassis onto the onto the tractor uh, and it comes off by putting putting the arm down and the legs uh, and taking two pins out uh, and then you should be able to drive away so we'll, we'll go through that now uh, so first of all we put the arm down on the ground about there and then fold both legs down And then you need to get off the tractor. And this pin here 
has to go loose. It's almost loose there. But if we find a position with the leg that it's loose, It's gone loose there, and you can take the pin out. Do the same on the other side. This pin's already loose. And then with the legs, you will be able to drive the back row up. Just so underneath, it clears these little hooks. Okay, so that's now cleared. So now you need to drive. Now you need to drive the tractor forward a little bit to disconnect the hoses. Turn the tractor off. We just drove forward a little bit to give you a bit of room to be able to disconnect the hoses. Uh, but the hoses should just disconnect here and here. And what we do now, if we're storing the backhoe, is put the backhoe hoses together to keep them uh, to keep them clean. No oil can get in your system. And then on the on the tractor side, you need to reconnect the two hoses back together, which creates the circuit for your um, for your for your three point linkage and your extra hydraulics on the rear of the tractor. So now we've done that, we can just drive the tractor away. And that's as easy as that. The, the backer will sit there on its hydraulics. Uh, uh, you can, if you wanted to, you could, if you're going to leave it for a, a while, once you get it off the tractor and drive forward a bit, you can lower the legs so it sits safely on the floor. Uh, and that will be, you know, a safe stowage position then. Uh, but I've left it here so that we can put it back on in a, in a few minutes. Uh, and if you were going to use the tractor now, uh, all you need to do is just put the three-point linkage back on uh, and it's a tractor again you can leave the actual backhoe brackets on the machine it will work um, to, it'll work as a standard tractor uh, with with the um, with the brackets left on the machine uh, but the backhoe off <laughs>